So, because I'm not using any palm oil in the uh, uh, sustainable palm oil in the mixture, it's it's a bit soft. So what I've had to do, and they don't come out of the mould very well. So what I've had to do is, if you can see there, I put in some uh, some greaseproof paper down the bottom of the mould. It just hopefully, this is the first time we've tried it, is it's going to help it come away from the mould at the bottom a bit better. So we've just cut that to shape. So I'm going to gently pour that in and see what happens. Now this is an experiment. There we go, it seems to... There we go. So hopefully that'll still have a nice flat surface at the bottom. So after 24 hours of, of hardening since I made the soap, there it is there, I'm unmoulding it. Now I'm going to unmould all three of the blocks in exactly the same manner, or try to anyway. Uh, this one turned out to be rather soft and uh, took quite a lot of effort to get it out of the mould. This is the first one where we used the greaseproof paper. And uh, it was, to say the least, a nightmare. There we go, eventually got it out of the mould and the paper was stuck to the bottom of the soap so uh, I don't recommend this method at all so the verdict well it took 2 minutes 40 seconds it was soft stuck to the paper as you saw difficult to remove from the mold and at this stage we thought it was too soft to cut so we left it So because I was having a bit of trouble with the getting the uh, soap out of the moulds earlier, I'm using a bit of a laminator sheet, I'm going to put that in the bottom. Before I do that I'll just give it a quick spray the whole mould with the isopropyl alcohol just to kill any germs or anything like that. It'll also help it become unstuck later. There we go. I'm just going to pop that in now. Into the bottom. That we've cut out to fit. And hopefully that'll make it a lot easier to come out later. As you can see that's thickening, thickening up quite well. So we'll just pour that in what we can there. It's kind of like folding in. So once again, this one was left for 24 hours before we unmold it. It had a slight crack in the top because it was a little bit warm, but I did exactly the same thing. I opened up the sides and then the two ends. Tried to let a bit of air into the mold. Push my fingers down the side. And then try and push it out. This one did push out not too bad. But then when I tried to peel the plastic film away, I found that it was well embedded into the soap and it was very tacky so I had to spray some rubbing alcohol on top and then with my rubber gloves just smooth that down and it was still very tacky so the verdict for this one it took two minutes nine seconds to release from the mold still very soft stuck to the plastic and it was slightly easier only couldn't cut it though Okay, so the lye water's down to uh, 45 degrees Celsius, which is where I want it at. And the reason I wanted it down so low, because normally I just pour it straight into the oils, just to help the coconut oil melt, is because I'm adding some yogurt. And the reason I'm adding some yogurt is because I read some, we're having trouble with these moulds, because on the first day it's too soft, the, the mixture we're using the oils because we don't use um, palm oil which is a hardener so I read somewhere with, that you can use sodium lactate to uh, add a couple of t teaspoons to your um, so your soap batter and that will harden the soap batter and you'll be able to get it out uh, a lot easier on the first day 
Now, my method in my madness, and I've read a little bit about it, is that I'm using lactic acid, which is in the form of yogurt, adding it to sodium hydroxide, and I'm going to get sodium lactate, or there will be some of it in there. Anyway, so let's try that. So there will be a very minor chemical reaction. So I need two teaspoons for the 900 grams of oils that I'm using. And I'll give that a good stir. So make sure that's all thoroughly mixed. The reason you add it at this low temperature is because you don't want it to burn. At those really high temperatures, the yogurt will burn, it will go brown and make the uh, lye water brown. So that's the last thing we want. We don't want the burnt smell in our, uh, in our soap. So that hasn't burnt, that's perfect. And that's still, still quite warm. That'll be warm. So you'll notice that um, the mould there, not lined at all. I had previously uh, sprayed it with isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol just to make sure it was nice and clean and then just poured the soap batter in to this mould so um, it went in very well it wasn't too thick and I managed to get all of it in there uh, this is a very lovely scent this was um, black currant licorice so I didn't have to speed up so th this will give you some indication of why sodium lactate was so good Anyway, so I did the same thing. I spread the sides and I spread the two ends. And then I just uh, gently put my fingers down the sides to let some air into the bottom of it. And I, I kind of felt that the bar was a lot harder than the other ones. It wasn't tacky at all. It was the first thing I noticed. And then I pushed my thumbs down the ends like I had previously. Just to make sure I did exactly the same thing with all the bars of soap. Okay, so I just tipped it upside down and lo and behold, it basically fell out of the mould. So the verdict for this, it took 1 minute 14 seconds to come out it was hard zero tackiness quickly released from the mold and it cuts without streaking it was hard enough to cut at this stage after 24 hours so as you can see I was just sped up a little bit of footage there of me cutting the soap using a uh, crinkle cutter and my homemade soap cutting box so I've managed to source some sodium lactate so we will be selling it on the website very soon um, I would recommend against the yogurt because that yogurt was homemade. Um, I made it for a cheese making experiment using a very high acidifier. Don't forget to check out some of our other soap making video tutorials and drop by the shop to pick up your soap making supplies. And you can subscribe to the channel and be notified of all of our other soap making videos as they get released. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.